Hello, 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 and welcome to the Rag Company podcast, the Rag Company main show, number 24. Oh, to my man. right, I've got Levi. Hey, everybody. Um, to my left, I've got Anthony. What's up, guys? And to my right or right, I've got Tim, who you can't see right now, but he's the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new guy. <laughs> All right. So, let's Tim just is our new start. producer. Yeah. First yeah. off. Uh, I apologize. We've all got mints in our mouths. Yeah, so. not me. Keeping so. it fresh. Yeah. It's just you well, weirdos. you start when you all stand around and talk to each other. You don't realize that you know everybody's got kind of stinky <sighs> yeah. breath. So, so we do this happens. mostly to make ourselves feel better. Yeah. Um, so I apologize if our voices sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we should just cut right to the chase and explain why we have a Tim in the corner. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Tim, why are you back there? Who yeah. is this magical person? Well, what he doesn't do have do? a mic, so we have to speak oh. on his behalf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, uh, he's directing the show. So yeah. we've got a different camera set up this week. It's a little bit different. You may notice it's, it's probably 4K, moving right? around. He's uh, he's directing it on an iPad actually. So that's kind of fun. But any anyway, rate, it's uh, it's, it's a new one way of the doing new it. features we brought in for 2018. Yep. It's one of the new uh, tech features. people yep. we brought in for yep. 2018. Uh, Tim is going to be assisting us in our uh, media growth of this empire our that we've created. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, he'll be able to help you edit and do clips. And Tim, you're going to be a huge asset. Thank you. Free up yeah. Anthony, <laughs> who is uh, now starting to uh, take more of a role in the company, not only just doing social media, but being able to reach out for customers and and assist on those kind of things, similar to like yeah. what I do. So, so like yeah. if you're looking to become a distributor or something like that, maybe now you could potentially get hooked up with Anthony and talk yeah. more about that. We're, so, I mean, we're, we're yeah. growing. We're growing so we're, fast, we're, I can't do it all on yeah. my own. No. So, we're growing, uh, so I wanted to you know, see, help more, You know, use my yeah. knowledge, use my skills, and kind of help expand the business. And so uh, I'm still going to be doing social media stuff. I'm still yep. going to be doing things like that. Oh, yeah. You're um, not going anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's my fun. I'm still I, filming I, everything. It's just we yeah. all wear a lot of different hats here. Yeah. We got gray ones. We yeah. got camo ones. <laughs> we got <laughs> non ones. Dang, that was a bad joke. Yeah. Get <laughs> out of here. So we were, we were these off the right company dot com. Twenty dollars for this one. I think sixteen for that one. So like, we, this yeah. wasn't planned, guys. So uh, yeah, make it up. As we so go. I'm going to be doing a lot of the creative stuff that I've been doing, but I'm going to start focusing more on sales, business development, uh, helping more with customers, uh, and expanding in those areas it, yeah it's gonna be fun and and, and tim's gonna be uh tim's got a lot of uh i guess he's knowledge picking up your slack and bro he's picking up my slack <laughs> but he's got a lot of knowledge he's got a lot of skills yep. in video editing and video work um and all the technical stuff there so he's going to uh but he's really going to be able to help us do more live do stuff because we're really interested in kind of expanding that and potentially at some point this show could become a live version of itself so you could actually like pretty tune rad. in at yeah. a given time and see us talking while it happens while we're recording. So yeah. once we got the uh, our, our offices, Anthony and I's offices and potentially Tim's now, we'll be on the other side of this wall. We'll actually have stuff set up where we can do a lot more than we've been able to do in mm -hmm. the past. So yeah. lots of great stuff's coming, guys. It's, and, it's going to be awesome. And if you didn't awesome. see our uh, tech talk yeah. that we did this weekend. Go on YouTube, check it out. Uh, we had the local Porsche Club here, uh, the Silver Sage Porsche Club of America. Thanks to um, all who attended, and that was a very well attended attend here. Uh, attended uh, attend event <laughs> yeah. here locally, um, and we had a great time. But we were able to live stream it with this device that you are watching us on. Yep, uh, and it was great. Oh, Audio it was great. Was good. Uh, I mean, the audio, it could have been better, uh, yeah, but it yeah. was it was really good for. I, what I'm it just was really doing. sensitive about that kind yeah. of stuff. No, I thought it was great. So, but uh, it was it was really it really nice really to see, and there were a lot of commenters on there. Actually, it's different when the when the stream becomes archived and it becomes a video on YouTube. Creates the comments comment. disappear, yeah. so basically you won't see any of the comments that appeared during the stream. But there were a lot of people That's active good. on there commenting. Lots of great well, stuff. Got a lot of views. People yelling at me to like, hey, move the camera a little bit more. And I'm like, right on, not, I'm on it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it was fun. And actually, Tim was helping direct a lot of that too. So that was his first gig, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doing that. It was awesome. But so. we hope you enjoyed that because we'd love to do it again. We, we'd love to do more. And we're, we're figuring out the audio situation yeah. so we can mic these guys up next time they're talking so it actually goes into the feed. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, It'll be, be a lot more. Cool. I mean, this was like, this is our first run. So uh, we were, we were really. Like everything, the whole was new super systems, new, new new tech, new everything, and so you can't expect it to be perfect your first time. Out. But we know what we did wrong, and we know what we can do better next time around. And, and so let's be honest. First and foremost, when it comes down to it, the clinic was for the Porsche people right, who were there. Right. Yeah. So that has to come first. That was number one. They can't be 
you know, put at the expense of a hey, higher we're quality this live for YouTube. stream. We, our live stream is as good as we can make it for that. But we hope you enjoyed it. And the quality was great. Like yeah. watching it and stuff, you saw a lot of the details. And I and skipped things. through it because, granted, it was three and a half hours it's long. Three and a half hours long. <laughs> so, champions to you who sit through the whole thing and watch it. Yeah. Um, but there, a lot of people said they learned a lot from you guys talking at the beginning. Admittedly, yeah. there was about an hour and a half of talking up at the podium yeah. before you even touched the car. But a lot of people said that may have actually been their favorite part was just hearing you guys explain well, the process. It's kind of like a class. <laughs> yeah. And there was actually like QA. Like some people had yep. some really great questions. I know a lot of people will ask in the comments certain questions but being able to do it live like that 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 had an extra impact and there was that uh, oh, why isn't stuff made in america i remember that that yeah. was a good one and a really great answer i mean you had jeff there to tell you exactly what yep. the deal was and yeah. you know in the future and I'd our answer to, we will be the first yeah if that ever happens yeah if that happens we will absolutely be on top of uno yeah. so no we had a lot of great questions it was a lot of fun i think that uh, being up there and giving like a class to people who may not be educated on microfiber or new products. I mean, Optimum products, for example. I mean, it's a whole different technology than what people are used to. And so when people are learning about that for the first time, we understand it's a lot to take in. But me and Levi do try to break it down and use analogies and make it simple to understand. Mm -hmm. But that you can also trust us on it. It's not yeah. something we're trying to shill out to you. We're not just making the stuff up as like People, a sham yeah, wow we, commercial. We're teaching you, you know? the methods that worked for us and work yeah. for us continually. Um, In your and shop. I thought, yeah, and I thought that was, and it's been, yeah, it's been tested and it, and it works well. Um, and I thought that was really great because like we were saying, a lot of these folks are, uh, maybe they're one, they're soap and and sponge and bucket one bucket guys yeah. and they didn't know about a two bucket method it's hard or, to learn new things or they've done two buckets and they never knew about rinseless right uh or some of them maybe they have a wash pass but they like to keep their car somewhat clean you know intermittently some you know? people don't know that car wash brushes are bad for your paint so yeah. we had a lot so of I mean, customers come up and ask about the uh california car duster yeah. Oh, a lot. yeah. A and lot. asking about that. A lot. Um, that product, I swear, it's like, it's like it and, just permeates. Well, into the... <laughs> and it was just funny because I mean, so they, they, they would ask me the same thing with you. They asked you and they said, hey, you know, is it wrong for me to use my California duster? And I said, well, what are you doing with it? And they're like, well, I'm dusting it off. I'm like, well, what's on your car? And they're like, dust. I'm like, okay, is the, is the, is the, is the brush, is the brush wet or is the brush dry? They're like, the brush is dry. I'm like, is the car dry? They're like, the car is dry. And I'm like, and what do you, basically have in between the car and the dry brush and they're like Nothing. like light <laughs> dirt like dust and i'm like now what happens when you take two dry surfaces and you rub it together i'm like yeah some of it may go into the dry duster but where do you think the rest is going to go and they looked at me and they're like oh gosh <laughs> yeah but, wow. but they like, told like, me the pair like from Lex, bulb, it's supposed to... The light bulb turned on. On some degree, it does. It, yeah, there, it there is, is some real it will science behind minimize it. The it's better scratching. than taking a, a dry, cotton towel to your car and rubbing it on there. It. But You would do way more damage. These are these are just degrees of severity. But it's a, lot it's a lower severity. But a lot of people don't care for their California car duster either. And right, so you, you use it enough times. How many times have you, you used use it? it? Set it aside. Right. Use yeah. it, what are you talking aside. about? It and cleans it's not itself. Just, and maybe you're not putting it back <laughs> yeah. in the pack and you're just setting no. it in your garage. No. I don't know about you, my garage gets dusty. Yeah. Ooh, so yeah. if I'm not putting it back in a case, I'm going to get more dirt and debris on it, and then I'm going to pick it up, kind of just shake it off and wipe it. I don't know how much if dirt you're not, If you're not like vacuum much. sealing that thing, over time it will yeah, become. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I there's mean, a lot of different. If you're blowing it out, if you're doing methods to keep the dust out, then yeah, then. I think that it would be a safer method. But realistically, but if you're the kind of person who does that, chances are you're probably not using one in the first right, place. If no, you got exactly. that level of uh, yeah. attention to detail. Right. But there are those who but simply it was great, don't know. But so it was great. We know. had our parking lot full of Porsches because it was yeah. a gorgeous day here in Boise. <laughs> that was so nice. You wouldn't believe yeah. it was the middle of January and yeah. we were having 50 degree weather and sun. It was amazing. So yeah. we had a good turnout, good day, good group of guys, good group of cars. We built custom kits of towels that we used in the process. I know uh, there were a lot of commenters who are like, where can I get yeah, one of those kits? Yeah. We were doing, uh, sorry, it's we for were the doing, people We were doing here. a screaming <laughs> deal for yeah. local people and local people only on these kits. And this is a kit that me and Levi, yeah. uh, we, we designed, we picked out that as being the go-to kit for these cars and having some high-end towels in there. And for guys that needed to get started. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is basically like a comprehensive thing that somebody who can get just a, learned yeah. all this stuff it, can so go home and do it. What did we throw in there? Well, we had an eight-ounce bottle of O&R. Right. Uh, we did a four-ounce bottle of leather protectant. 
uh, a 17 ounce bottle of car wax, a 17 ounce bottle of uh, power clean, power clean, and a 17 ounce bottle of Optimum's uh, instant, instant detailer yep. gloss enhancer, yep. and then an eight ounce bottle of Optibon tire gel. Yeah, and so that was pretty comprehensive. Yeah. And then the Optimum body brush went in with it, mm-hmm. and uh, and then we had some towels that we basically went through and picked our favorites: yeah. Buffles, uh, Smitten Mittens, Six uh, Hundreds, Minx Royales. 245s in black, uh, miners, 365 edgeless miners. Yeah. Um, and then uh, some well, black applicator sponges and, and even, some glass towels. And even with those, you know, like smaller, some people would say, oh, it's a sample size of like those Optimum products, they go a long way because they, they dilute do. quite yep. a bit. Yeah. So that little bottle will actually last you realistically quite a while. Well, a lot of these yeah. guys, you know, the goal is to get them hooked, right? I mean, yeah. that's what we're in well, for. Well, that's the we thing. It's like... come back and think about <laughs> us for purchasing, or we yeah. want them to tell their friends about the products that they have that they were using. Yeah. Um, yeah. Little things like that. So uh, it was good, though. We we learned a lot. We had a lot of good stuff. Um, we did invite a couple uh, detailers just to be on hand, but we made mm-hmm. sure they showed up sans logoed. <laughs> um, yeah. Mostly because this was a Porsche Club event, and... We wanted to keep an air of professionalism. Right. And I didn't want guys coming in wearing, you know, shirts and hats and hoodies that all had their company logo on. Because the last thing you want to do is have it turn into like a pissing contest. Yeah, and I didn't want them to shill like, it's just how it is. There's a time um, and a place. Right. And so we kept it very professional. um, And those that did show up were very professional. Oh, absolutely. And didn't try to push anything on anybody. Uh, and, uh, so it was good, but a lot of those guys were able to leave with some good leads, yeah. uh, for customers because they'd reach out to them and find out. Um, and so that was, that was good too. So it helped customers. It helped, uh, our clients, it helped the club because a lot of these yeah. guys like to care for their own stuff. And finally they learned how to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and the best part, we actually sold stuff. Yeah. We sold what we say, yeah. 17 f- sprayers. Just the multi spare, yeah. yeah, and that wasn't even something we were th- we were throwing in or pitching. It was no, just something that, that we was just ended up using. Something using demonstrated in the video. Dude, we just, on the car, the, yeah, yeah, we like used class. it on the car, and I just said, "Hey, we like this sprayer for these particular reasons," and I just kind of laid out just the basics of it, and people were like, "Oh, I need to get one. I need to." And, get and one. they I need felt to get it. One. They're like, "Oh, this isn't your average like oh, plastic. No. This is heavy yeah. duty stuff." Well, and so. we got a really cool car, so we had yeah. we had a nine eleven uh, turbo in lava orange nine nine one point. Ooh. Yeah, 2017 model. <laughs> that uh, that the local Porsche dealership loaned us, and this is something I used to do in my detail shop, albeit on a smaller scale. Yeah. I'd get a car, we'd uh, you know let everybody come in and do, and I'd invite people. We'd have coffee and donuts at the shop on a Saturday, and I'd invite customers to just come and hang out and buy products. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, they were the ones I held were successful. This was probably the largest thing I've there ever done. There were a lot of people We had in 58 there. people from the club that yeah. arrived. And this was what you were saying, one of your first times like realistically doing this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you it, it haven't was, really taught a class like that before. But. Not Yeah, not like that and not on live stream. It was a little bit... Nerve-wracking? I wouldn't say nerve-wracking, <laughs> no, but, but it was just it was, it was different. We think we did yeah. really yeah. great. Yeah, the one, the, I think the hardest part for me... Oh, I squeaked there for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> how old I am. I'm 28, <laughs> Anthony. Come on. Uh, the hardest part for me was was because we didn't have microphones. We were just... Uh, projecting. We were, we were just... Pre- speaking very we, were, we were really projecting When you were like coming voice. off a cold or something. I was yeah. still... I had some phlegm every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't feeling great <laughs> either. And so we are so we were having to project our voice in front of this, you know, entire warehouse so it was a l- more difficult to gather my thoughts while I was projecting my voice rather than just talking normally because you had to think about how much voice you were putting out there and, then and also what, what you were going to talk about next yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it was but it was it was a lot of fun and I think that that car the before and after really showed people how great the products work and how easy it is and how fun it could be <sighs> uh, to clean your own car because it was dusty it was dirty we did do the wash with O&R. Had been sitting on the lot for a while. Yeah, we did. We did car wax. We did instant detailer, and we had people play around with it and see, you know, which ones they like more. If you like to top it one on top of the other, or kind of see how it all works. Yeah, we just let and them go. It was yeah, we just let them go. We let and them wash. We let them stick their hands in the buckets and and see yeah, if you didn't if you didn't trust if you didn't believe in the products you were using somebody would just freak out like oh you can't let just random people touch that oh that $177,000 car ah. it's yeah. like well it's because it works and because they understand the the principles you were teaching them that it was okay to go on there and do that because it came out great yeah. i mean 
Yeah. When when Elliot, the the guy from the dealership, came to pick it up, he's looking at it. Wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's pretty nice. And it shows up in the live stream. Like I kept yeah, the live yeah, stream glowing. going until he drove off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then when it didn't I, end until you closed the garage door. <laughs> I I mean I got to peek at it just for a minute right when I was leaving outside in the sun, and I just I wish we could have brought it out in the sun. Oh, be, yeah. You know, before everything ended, before everybody left, because that car looked amazing yeah, out in the sun. Good. It's a cool color. And that granted, it did need more. Uh, you know. It needed clay. It needed polished. It didn't needed. Need, it didn't need it sure, needed yeah. that stuff. But that wasn't what we were teaching. No, um, not this you know, time. We were just teaching them how to wash. How because to care for if car. you can wash, wash correctly, it. that solves a lot of the other right. problems yep. and prevents yep. you from. And having we to are going to be doing another stuff. one later with them on doing some paint correction and some mm-hmm. other stuff because it was yeah. such a success and we were oh, able yeah. to to have so much fun here and our team was really great and uh, it was just it was really good. So. Uh, I don't know. We got any more hopefully to say? assign them many things to come. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So. so more classes, hopefully in the future, and you know we're getting better at doing this. So hopefully, maybe eventually we'll, we'll travel, teach microfiber. You we'll, never know. We'll, we'll do things like that. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. It just it's, it's a it's, it's, band of towel it, traders. Who, tell, yeah, <laughs> exactly. We're, ta- we're towel mongers. <laughs> to the caravan. <laughs> I play <laughs> Fallout. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Uh, we're towel uh, mongers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man so so anyway, anyway but um <laughs> so basically we cover the live streaming uh, another thing that we got coming up here with video wise which we're really looking forward to is dane uh made uh, and edited this absolutely stellar it's new video style. it's like a new style it, we've never tried it before it's a new style of, of it's like a of crossover of like a product info it's like a what's in store on steroids it's yes. good yeah. it looks good it looks good it feels good the sound's awesome the video quality is awesome and so this whole video is going to be about our ik sprayers i think we had briefly talked about this in our last podcast but yeah, yeah. um it's finally finished now but it's it the looks... most thorough video we've done of its kind it looks, we need to do more, basically. Because, After we, because we, we had to do that version. with the IK sprayers because there are a lot of questions. There's a lot of variables. I mean, it comes right down to, like, the dilution ratio. Sure, you can have everything perfect, and then you put it together, and you don't know what the dilution ratios are. You're not going to necessarily get the result you want. So knowing that, which this video provides, really, really helps you with that. Yeah. Yeah, but there's all kinds of little things like doesn't need batteries. That was something that came up more times, and I was su- I was surprised to hear that was uh, well, it's it's compressed air, so yeah, you know, it's yeah. <laughs> a so you're little prob- different. If but... you're wondering what the whole video is about, it's it's basically me and Levi uh, completely going through the whole sprayer. I mean, like you know, opening it up, unboxing, twenty minutes, it, showing you it's all of the bits and pieces, showing you how to disassemble it, telling you our dilution recommendations, uh, telling you like what the material's made out of, kind of what you can expect. And it's really cool. It's really thorough. Um, and hopefully once we get our 1.5 foamers back in stock, that video will go live because that's the only reason why we haven't uploaded it yet because it's we don't want to disappoint waiting. people. We, just, we don't want to put it out there and then people are like, awesome, where do I buy? Oh. Yeah, yeah out of stock. It's not there. So, yeah, <laughs> our, uh, it, it's hopefully, maybe perhaps coming in today, perhaps coming in tomorrow. Uh, we're waiting on this tracking number because our uh, national sales rep, he is actually in Spain, uh, at IK. The, at IK Sprayers. Yeah. And so he was unable to get us tracking as soon as we would have liked it. So he gets back into the U.S., I think, today. And he'll Although I thought I heard he showed to... those guys the video and they liked it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and we're supposed to be getting them sometime this week, we believe. So we'll be restocked this week, hopefully. So yeah. So you'll see that video coming up soon. And yes. you know what? Just I'll, I'll throw a little, little bone to everybody out there. If you want to watch it, it is available on the product pages on our website. So if you yeah. go to the IK Sprayers on our website, Sneak peek. You can watch it there. You just can't see it on YouTube yet because we didn't want to like throw it out to the world. So oh, I snuck a little something in there. You can yeah. thank Stacy. She helped out so with you gotta that. So you got to go to the rag I company. I did an unlisted com. one. So if you had the link, you can see it. Look up and our IK. site has the link. So you can watch it. Yeah. If you got questions, like I don't want to stop anybody from like finding out, you know, go for it. Go to the but IK technically Sprayer for pages. it being unlisted and us having almost a hundred views, that's pretty good. So considering, yeah, the only people have seen it are people who've like shown it to another person and said, "Here, look well, at it's, this." It's only our <laughs> access. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Beware though, you will want to buy more of them. Yeah. So yeah. Just, so we're just trying to we'll stave off the the angry roving hordes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. And so. Uh, yeah, that's one big thing we're trying to do and then maybe perform or not perform, I guess, maybe film more uh, videos in that same style, yep. uh, whether it's around towels, whether it's around polishes. I know we have some other ones in the works in that same style uh, that we're finishing up as well. And if we you've talk watched about it, leave a comment below this video saying what you thought. You know, if yep. you like that style, you know, you want to see more of that kind of thing. 
absolutely. Let us know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So Levi had some stuff to cover with some detailing stuff. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, you had well, a. Well, I just wanted it's a it's a observation on the industry itself. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So we were talking about it earlier, and you brought some good points, and I was like, you need to talk about that on the podcast. You know, just just to discuss it. Just yeah. To, so. Uh, so this happened last night, and it was in response to our uh, wash clinic, so to speak. And it's a local detailer here who was invited to our event and was told all the rules and everything that we were going to – and agreed to them. Uh, they didn't show up, hmm. and that was fine. They they got busy. They have kids. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, our photographer uh, was the one that alerted me to this. Uh, they were upset that they felt uh, kind of that they were trying to. So they comment. So it's the detailer commented on a post that the members of the Porsche Club posted about our video, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how great it was, and how it was so nice. Thanks you guys for doing that. That yeah. class, it was so much fun. And another customer, which that's just a nice thing right, to do. I mean, there's... another member of that club commented and said, uh, "Wow, I'm so bummed I missed it." I didn't know these guys were in town. I didn't know they were a local company. Hmm. What all do they carry? And another person said, they've got everything you need. And he goes, oh, I've been using chemical guys for years. I'd love to use something different. And stated, I've been washing my car through the car wash this winter, and it's driving me insane. So when it's spring and warm again, I can finally polish out all my swirls and yeah. stuff because of the car wash. Right. And this detailer stated, oh, well, we'll – polish your when you're ready i'll polish your car and that person asked do you guys have do you have products that you'll sell me i can do it myself Mm. yeah and they said oh well yeah we'll sell you products and then our photographer just said check out the rag company they've got everything levi's Mm -hmm. got 20 years experience and of course this is where you start to walk the delicate line right and all he was doing was responding to the previous comment at the beginning not yeah. hopefully you're the still detailer. with us yeah you get it. yeah it's like if, if you a get a winded thing think basically, of a thread going down yeah. yeah but basically the detailer then was went after the photographer privately thankfully and basically felt that they were uh getting uh what's the word kind of uh well there's just a lot of were, sensitivity yeah they just they felt like stuff they felt like they were being attacked, being or... attacked, and getting the sale, the getting the sale taken away from them, yeah, and being having it sent over to us, yeah. When that was not the point, no. And then they kind of went back into it, and then they they delved into a deeper discussion where the detailer felt wronged for a lot of different things. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, Needless it got to real say, deep. There's, it got uh, real you, deep. You can imagine, you, yeah. you know how these things go. But so the uh, so our our photographer notified me and just said, "Hey, here you go, man. Here's what's up." And I looked at it. He sent me the whole conversation, and I felt a little disheartened in the sense that all we try to do is educate all of our customers, everybody that watches, everybody that listens. We're just trying to be a source of education. And I've stated this to our local detailers as well. I want them to think of the rag company more as like a detailing school. That's why we bring in a hub. uh, Yeah. This is a hub for education and detailing around the Pacific Northwest. We want uh, people to learn and better and be able to raise their skills. We want detailers to be able to come to us when we have folks like Dylan from Rupes, when we have David from Lake Country, when we have the, the Optimum team. Uh, we've been in talks with PNS and Rennie Doyle and Flex Polishers to have them come and do a tech talk with us as well yeah. so that we can invite local detailers so that these detailers can grow. Mm-hmm. Every one of them can grow. It's just we want to provide, you know, 45 minute talks, little talks, little things like that. Similar to like what the IDA does with their webinars every month. Right. It's just education. Yeah. It's and just it's, providing education to think, help you grow. I think some some people are just insecure because they read like ego into it or exactly. something like that. Yeah. When yeah. we're doing it because we happen to have a platform that reaches people, right. we want to be able to use that for betterment of others. Yeah. We don't want to use that just because oh it really you know pads our you know egos. That's not no. We've that's got not a, we have the access. 
So yeah. we're trying to keep the, you know, we're the ones that are able to open the door. So let's bring everybody in, which is why we do detox, which is why we do the podcast. Right. Which is, yeah. We want to bring you guys in to our experiences. For Anthony and Dane and I, this is all new. You know, mm-hmm. we're not yeah. old hands at this. We no. just no. started doing this. And so we want to be able to make it as fun. <laughs> and all you have been watching us and listening to us for a while know that. But Yeah, <laughs> but it's this is a new thing that we are thankful for. And we are trying to to bring others along with us on our ride. Yeah. Right. We're having fun with this. We want you to have fun as well. And that's our whole goal. And so, but I was reading these comments and these texts and I was, I was getting a little down last night. I don't get all that upset usually. Levi but I was, is a very positive yeah. dude. But it, I was very, we, makes, we make fun of him all the time yeah. and he just takes yeah. it and we're yeah. like, somebody's no, going to snap. But I was, no, I, but, but if you're I was, feeling down, something's up. That's I was just, not, I felt frustrated yeah. because yeah. I do have a good relationship with this detailer. Yeah. And I was very frustrated that they would act this way towards something we were doing. Right. Yeah. That they would take offense to something that wasn't, that made no sense, honestly. I had my wife reread all these texts to make sure. I was like, I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> um, but I just wanted to make sure that, like, we're on this, like, we're not doing anything untoward to others. Bottom line, if if you're feeling kind of, you know, like lashing out at other people about stuff, take a step back and look, because usually it's not about you. Right. It's yeah. not. No. So we'll just state that this, the that, so that was going on. I was like, uh, and my wife was she goes, well, it's bath time for the kids anyway. Let's go give them a bath. That's code for, you know, just <laughs> I'm leaving. put your phone, just put your phone down. <laughs> yeah. Go take care of the kids. So I did that. Yep. Went upstairs, started helping with bath time and all that. And what I love about this industry is uh, Brandon McComb of Detailed Review. He's great. Uh, He's a hoot. <laughs> he sent me a message at the same time and said, is your car an Elantra or a Sonata? And I said, "What's well, it's a Elantra, of course. Of course. How, do, how, how, could, you how could you forget? How could yeah. you forget, yeah. Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> it's an 06 Elantra. And then he sent me a picture that I had taken and had posted on the podcast site sure. of the car in a, one morning. And uh, sent me that picture. He goes, is this the one? I said, yeah. And he created a little GIF <laughs> yeah. of it with it's some awesome. smoke and doing, you know, smoke around <laughs> like the tires two and step yeah. a little two-step action, some flames coming <laughs> out of the, <laughs> the hood. <laughs> Um, but exit and it was awesome. great, but it was so much like it like instantly brightened it. And for me, it meant, OK, these guys get it. They yeah. get what we're trying to do. They get that they're, you know, what our goal is. Not about Elantra domination, but about <laughs> towel domination. Although that is part happen. of it. Yeah. <laughs> will if you're Levi, that's part of it. <laughs> but it was but it was just the fact that here's another detailer who listens to our podcast, cares about what we are trying to do as, a, as an organization. Right and sees joy and uh fun in it yeah and then and uh in on the inside joke so to speak about yeah. this and then posted that and then posted it on the group detailed review last night and a lot of guys posted gifts of from fast and the furious and <laughs> really and i it just it made me laugh because yeah. it made me feel good that you know okay we're, there was that instantaneous like oh we are doing we're on the right yeah. path and maybe it, it's the universe trying to it's explain. It's easy like, to get sucked in on the negative when really all that's going to do is bring you down. Right. There's, there's nothing to be gained from it except as a learning tool to go, well, I guess I know what, you know, how not to interact or what not to do. But otherwise, positivity is where it's at. Well, and I um, think I felt a little more kind of upset because I know this person personally. Yeah. Right. I've had discussions with them personally. And that makes it hard. I've had, I've given them advice personally. And I think that's when it's a little more because, you know, we have we have lots of friends on Facebook and Instagram. We have lots of followers on our mm-hmm. stuff and we have lots of people that we talk to on a day to day basis. And, you know, you may be a fan of the podcast listening to us every day and you feel super comfortable with us. But it is different when they're when you people haven't physically met and mm-hmm. you've never yeah. shaked somebody's hand physically and right. said, you know, hey, nice to meet you or spent time with them. So. It'd be one thing if it was just somebody that I've never met before in my life. I've maybe friends with them on Facebook and chatted a bit, but I've never talked to them. Right. This is yeah. a person that I've actually physically talked to. And so that part, I think, was the most frustrating thing to me. And that's why, because normally it doesn't bother me. 
Yeah. Uh, normally, I don't have uh, you know a care in the world, so to speak, about that stuff. Just so y'all know, Levi's really, really good at not letting stuff get to him. So. Thank you. No, yeah. It's but it is but it's true. Like uh, Anthony had a good point. You know, if someone you know attacks somebody at a certain level in a group, you yeah. know, it's different feeling because if that person is maybe higher up in stature than you are, yeah, it can make you feel far lower and far, mm -hmm. you know, far more insignificant when all you were trying to do is provide help. Yeah. Um, you know, in the or sense Or even of, like a petty throwaway joke that everybody can enjoy that was at the expense of no one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm being really specific. Yeah. <laughs> but, but if, you know, if it's somebody that you have never met, you know, yeah. and they, they're say something bad, like it's easy to just go like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, blow it it's off. not going to bother me. No. So yeah. anyway, I just thought it was, it was funny how, on a local level, I was very upset and very frustrated. But then on a, on a, you, you a know, more like macro a, scale, yeah, yeah, a bigger level, you know, it, it was nice to see that, no, the greater good yeah. understands what we're doing. So, so thank you, Brandon. For shout that out to Brandon. Sweet, uh, detailed gift. review. Uh, it's a good really group on Facebook. If you're not master. already in that group, master. you yeah. want to join it because yeah. those guys are all about you know, just bringing a little uh, happiness, yeah. spreading, yeah. spreading and positivity. It, was, it, yeah. it, it really fun. did mean a lot, and so um, it did and, change. And he's serious about that. He'll swing the band hammer. If you're going to be a negative person, you won't last in there. So that's, right. that's, that's the right. idea. Is if you want a place, you can really, you, you can really just have a good time. That's yeah. that's it for detail groups. Because I know some people they have to be in every detailers group on Facebook. That's like a thing. Yeah. Just how many can you collect? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. And it, that can be tiring too. <laughs> yes, yes, it can. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, so yeah. that was it. I digress. Yeah. So no, another thing we want to talk about is uh, it's codings is in, mm. in getting and in getting into codings. And so uh, something that we see a lot on Facebook as well in these groups is you know a lot of people, a lot of dealers offering codings. And I mean it's become a pretty hot commodity to be able to offer that, um, to be able to learn and and get skilled in codings and be able yeah. to apply them. Uh, it's they're getting more, getting well, more prevalent. Each one yeah. is different, and each one right. is different. So, what we want to talk about is, you know, as the popularity spreads, uh, you know, what are some, I guess, what are some tips and tricks to learn? You know, going into codings, choosing which company you choose to go with. You know, with being a supplier, being a uh, not a supplier, I guess the uh, installer is what I'm right. looking yeah. for, yeah. and the best way to go about doing that. You know, so Levi, for example, was an OptiCoat installer. Yep. And you did a lot of research. You, did, you were also using... I spent using, a year before... Oh, well, yeah, you looked at a lot of coding using, companies. Yeah, uh, and researching just about every every coding company that was available at the time yeah. and testing different versions of different coatings um, because I didn't know anything about it. Right. And the internet was still somewhat... Uh, it's, it's still... It, I will say it's the same. Facebook's still the same size. <laughs> uh, but coatings were a new thing and the uh, U.S. discussions of it right. was very, you know, there wasn't a lot of information because a lot of guys weren't doing coatings right. four and or five years ago. Depending on how that coating is marketed or sold to people can make a big difference exactly. in whether or not it's something to be taken seriously. Or well, not. and a lot of th there's a lot of factors that you've got to, you know, get into is, you know, based on the coating, do you, d how long is it to install it? Oh. You know, there are some coatings that are very easy and quick and simple to install. Like gloss and, coat. Yeah. And then there are other coatings that are very difficult, very hard, very time consuming to install. The questions you have to ask yourself is, uh, one, what is the cost of the coating? What is the labor involved in installing that coating? Yeah. Uh, and then what additional equipment do I need when installing that coating? Uh, some coatings you need to have IR lamps. As I say, you, you need, need to have those lamps and stuff. You need to have them, and you need to coat them, but you or to use them, but to cure the coating. But you also need to adjust for the time for those IR lamps. Uh, you may need a thermometer, an infrared thermometer, because you don't want to exceed the temperature point for certain panels while you're using that heater, that infrared heater on them. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different things, and then you've got to account for. Uh, let's say you need to put an IR lamp on a panel. We'll say one door for 10 minutes. Right. You need to do that on every panel. Yeah. Or if it's a big vehicle, you need to do it. If you've only got one lamp and you need to do a, carry a whole, cover a whole area and you've got your thermometer and you're trying to get it up to that temperature. And you have to be present for all and of that. And it takes 10 to 15 minutes to get to that temperature. Mm -hmm. And then once it's there, then you move it to the next panel. Yeah. That can be very frustrating and tedious. very time consuming and tedious. And if you're in 
uh, a one day shop and this is the only job you've got for the weekend, fine, you're good. You can take as long as you want. You can, you know, and it, but if you're only charging 500 bucks, <laughs> what's your time worth? <laughs> what's your time worth? Yeah. If it's going to take you, let's say you have, there's, uh, you know, you go all the way around the car, there's four panels on each side, there's the front bumper. Uh, a hood and a roof and a trunk and a rear bumper. So that's another four panels. There's 12 panels and each thing takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you add that up. Mm-hmm. Well, and some people get indignant and about the cost and a of roof, the coating. You actually got a split. But it so does maybe you're at 16. matter in some cases. Yeah. So maybe you're at 16 panels Yeah. and each thing's 10 minutes. That's 160 extra minutes yeah. that you need to yeah. add that's curing time. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but you've just got to add that to your detail. And if you just spent mm-hmm. eight hours correcting right. or 10 hours or 15 hours correcting. <laughs> you tired yet? <laughs> and you're only charging yeah. a customer 500 bucks. That's not worth it. That's no. a lot of time lost and yeah. not a lot of money made. Or are you charging $1,500 and you're not getting any sales on a right. $500 coating that you're trying to sell for 15 because you're looking at your cost pricing and going like, I can't do it with this. Then there's the other thing of you've got warranties. Yeah. Do those products carry warranties? Do they, do you need to have, uh, do you have to hit a certain price point to have that warranty? Yeah. And the warranty so, assumes you installed it correctly. <laughs> right. So there's a lot of different variables, not even going into the scientific level of coatings no. itself. So each coating is very, very different. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always recommend working on uh, finding the right one that you like, but then also finding the team that can back you, that can answer your questions, that can help you with customer service, that can help you with your warranty information. You might find a good product, but when it comes time for a warranty or something like that, do you trust the people who are responsible for actually following through on it? Yeah, and we've all heard horror stories. We've all heard stories of guys go like, and I used this coating because it was the best, and they said it was the best, and then something happened to my customer's (laughs) car and I can't get a hold of anybody. Yeah. You know, that sits on you then. And so there's a lot of things that guys need to understand that they do their research. And it's, you know, for me, I spent a year and I tried different ones. I timed myself, tried to get similar cars to test with, you know, yes, we didn't do our own. And I did offer it to customers, uh, close customers of mine that I could do it on and work on. Yeah. Um, some coding state, you need a lint, you need a full on lint free clean room yeah. to install them. And so starting yeah. out, I was like, well, how am I going to make my shop a clean room? Yeah. Okay, well, let's clean the place. Let's blow it all out before we pull that car in. And then let's wet the floors down to, to limit the amount of yeah. dust control. And then and we'll then do this every I time a car comes in. I had a rug. I went to Home Depot and bought a rug, and I <laughs> covered the floor oh. with a rug yeah. that we could have so then we could pull the car onto it. And then we shut the doors, closed it, put a curtain, I had a curtain built. Holy cow. We had fans and then I'd kick my employees out. I'd tell them go to lunch so that I didn't have them coming back in and out or having, I didn't want one guy working and spraying tire dressing in <laughs> a two bay shop. spray floats Yeah, its way floats down. and lands yeah. on the car. So I was like, everybody just out of the shop. And then we'd do our things and then we built a little, we got like a little tent that we put outside and parked the car out there afterwards. This isn't sounding very efficient It's right not. Now. It's not. <laughs> so there was a lot of them. And then I thought, all right, well, that's fine. Do I need to have this? And they're like, no, you just wet the floor down. Like, there's a lot. But this was when there was no information. Right, yeah. So you had to take them at their work. I had to kind of have guess. anything to yeah. use against that. Yeah. And there were detail shops that I could work from, that I could uh, not work from, but I could learn from that had certain clean rooms built. And they'd say, yeah. no, we just clean and wet the floor. We blow the thing out. As long as we get it to temperature, it's like right. okay, uh, you know. And then it was learning about the right products, so it was like, oh, we can use OptiBond with yeah. Optimum's products and not have any issues. Yeah. So, um, and when we spray, you know, a lot of it was silicone. We were still using silicone tire dressings at the time. Yeah. We got rid of that. We became a silicone-free shop. So okay. it was a lot of trial and error that you have to learn. That yeah. I don't think a lot of guys think through. I've had guys that call and say, hey, I install gloss coat. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's a great product to start with because it's very simple, very easy to use, and you don't need a lot. You can do it in your garage. It's designed at the level that your average consumer could use it. Yeah, and I can give you a vial, and you can do it yourself. And I've never installed never the coating myself, but I guarantee you with that, I could go home and, and do it. As long as the car was prepped yeah. you know, beforehand, I could easily go home yeah. and use it. Yeah, 
Because yeah, we have a video about it. I made that video. From making that video, I went, oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you could you could theoretically do that. And that's, yeah. you know, again, goes back to us trying to educate our customers. You right. Know, the only reason we use gloss coat is because we sell it. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, if we sold Gion Mose or, or one of those, we'd do a video on that to help teach you guys how to do that stuff. And that's the thing. People get hung up on what's the best and stuff. It's like, it's usually a very personal matter. Kind of like towels where you get the ones where, okay, this one is the best suited for your particular situation. Somebody goes, I like what that does, but I don't like how long the fibers are. I want something with shorter fibers. And then you get into all this minutia. Well, right. you know, coatings are much the same way yep. in that they all behave a little bit different depending yep. on your environment. I mean, say, you know... You, well, I, I'll let you get well, back into no, it. Well, even but. Brian at Gearhead Detailing, he yeah. does two different coatings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He carries Optimums and the their Pro line, and then he also carries G-Technique. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, for him, that works really well, having two yeah. options. Mm-hmm. You Nothing know, wrong with uh, options, guys. Yeah. It's not like you have to, like, subscribe to your team, and that's your only team, and you got to yeah. do that. No, and we had, you know, my shop was just Optimum, mostly because I just liked Optimum. It right. was easy. It was easy to use. Uh, I had good returns with it, and that's why I used it. Um, but Brian's having a lot of fun with G technique as well. Yeah. And, uh, another friend of ours was selling IGL Yeah. and IGL is a good company. Mm -hmm. Um, and so there's a lot of great stuff. Uh, you know, Matt is looking into creating another line, having another line to bring out instead of just optimum. And, you know, there's a lot of fun in that, in that he's going to be looking through it and going like, well, what do I really want to use? What do I want to learn? So, yeah. Um, we're actually going to be getting to, get a sample hopefully of inspiration mm-hmm. the pns yep. version and yeah. we're yeah. going to try it we'll see what it's you know we'll give it our due diligence and we'll there's test nothing it wrong with, with trying it. stuff guys <laughs> but, but we want to learn <laughs> yeah. you know and again we want to we just want to try and learn everything we can so that we can help provide that education for everyone yep. and yeah. show and use and help everybody so yeah because yeah. what to... are your what are your experiences so <laughs> yeah. far you got so, pro plus on your evo yeah so i had pro plus on my evo um, I was there actually while Brian at Gearhead installed it. I filmed the whole thing. It was a really fun process. I mean, I got to see everything hands on. I got to to play yeah. around with it and coat some things myself. And so, um, follow. I mean, following that, I mean, I've absolutely loved my coating in my car. I've, yeah. I've talked about this in previous podcasts. That you know, I I love the coating. It looks great. But at the same time, Brian also he coats uh, with uh, Crystal Serum, uh, the professional one, and. He did another one of my friends, Jason, with a blue Evo on our yeah. wash Wednesday. He did his Evo in the crystal serum and looks awesome. Looks yeah. outstanding. And so it's kind of funny. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, the look wise, I mean, you're going to get the same properties most of the time. You're going to get some, some good looks, some good gloss from it. And it's just kind of all preference. And I asked Brian, you know, why did he cho- choose to go with that one over the optimum one? He said, oh, I just want to change it up a little bit. You yeah. know, and I, I could offer this, that particular coating to this customer at a different price maybe or yeah, yeah. and maybe and it's and not to say it's he's selling it selling pro plus for 1200 yeah. and crystal serums a thousand bucks yeah you know yeah and it fits gives right him, in gives between him some more and it fits right yeah. in between the pro and the pro plus because in idaho that's what we sell it at. Mm-hmm. right you know so exactly. pro's at 800 you know it gives you an extra option and having maybe crystal serum light for seven or six hundred yeah you know and then gloss coat at five uh yeah. it just it makes you know, gives options those aren't a bad extra thing, options for your customers. As long as you're educating your customers yeah. Yeah. about what they're getting. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, lots, it's lots of good options, but I love a gloss coat though. I do want to say yeah. something about gloss coat. Hmm. It is such an easy coating to use. It's such a you know, it's for any consumer, it's actually easier to apply gloss coat than it is <laughs> half the half the waxes <laughs> or seal that's out there. It's so easy to use yeah. that anybody can do it. It's you I mean you you don't have to tape anything off. You don't have to get too crazy with it or overthink it. It's simply just apply it, let it sit for a minute. You can put it on everything but the front windshield. Yeah, everything. Yeah. And the tires. And the t- yeah, and the tires. And that's that. why but that particular one's else. pretty hard to argue with because once you've used it, you're like, oh, I mean, I, I can do other things. Now, once again, nothing wrong with options, but, man, it's easy. Yeah. You know, you just go in Maybe and- Maybe we'll do a video of yeah. Dane installing. Dane explains. <laughs> and I got- gloss coat. Anthony, I got I'll nothing in the way of those you. skills we'll, to offer. No, yeah. we're going to film his struggle <laughs> if he we'll, has one. We'll prep the car. We'll set up the Mevo. We'll just let Dane do well, it. Well, if you're offering <laughs> to prep my Miata, I mean, hey. Well, we're going to have to do the Miata. I'm going to say man. we'll do the C-Max because okay. it's a lot easier. It's so hard. Only a quick single step polish on it. Well, Anthony installed swirls in my- <laughs> <laughs> well, that was on purpose, about. though. He's like grinding sand.
sandpaper on the paint to see yeah. what how far we could go before we need to fix it. Did I do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> moving on from yeah. there. Right right away. One thing that that uh, you know we have noticed is that there is a very large towel debate right. on installing coatings. And there's a few things I will recommend mm -hmm. is use a low nap towel right. for coating removal. Yeah. Uh, I see people so, using like super plush, like big fluffy towels. And I go, how do you make that So work? a super plush, <laughs> like our Eagles, uh, any of that kind of stuff, like this guy or even the Minx Royale, uh, they're great towels. But when you're trying to remove a coating, it's going to be a lot easier if you have a shorter nap towel. So yeah. one towel that I do recommend works great is the Edges 300. Mm. Uh, awesome towel. E365, yeah. so the Edgeless 365s or Drago's, which are the same towel. Those are great towels as well. Mm -hmm. And then if you're in a pinch, the Creature is a phenomenal coating yep. removal right, towel. Right, because you got that really because flat side both. still, but then you have a little longer pile side right. on the other. So for those of you that, that need it or want it, you have that. You have that versatility. Yep. Um, personally, I used 365s, and I loved it, and it was great and easy and fine and worked perfect uh, we are developing other towels right for this that are specific to that those are in the works and we'll discuss those at a later date um, but there you know you don't need the biggest fluffiest softest towel to remove your coating it's going to no, take no. you longer it'll be more efficient if you use a shorter nap towel and that's about all I'll say I think about. I think especially some of those coatings are like honey. Yeah. I think yeah, the thick yeah. the thickest towel that I saw in <laughs> use carpet, personally peanut butter. <laughs> was yeah, basically. Yeah. I, I, I did see the 800 in use for coating <laughs> removal and 800, 800 probably is perfect because it of the is nap. Because of the people, nap is shorter. People think because of the GSM if they haven't felt one before they think 800 oh man that's going to be a big fluffy no it's no. 800 is different. The 800 is very dense. It's yeah. really heavy in a concentrated space. But the pile is very short, so yep. it's it's aggressive. It works great. It's for not that too. When I say aggressive, I don't mean damaging. I just mean it's it's, it's more bite. aggressive the in the sense it's got bite. It yeah. can pull more stuff yeah. in a given pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a really good alternative that pro detailers have found works as an alternative because you get like the eleven hundred or something. It's this big fluffy beast. It's too big. And... But the eight hundred is a totally different animal. Yep. So it's a very acquired taste, but for those who acquired that taste, it's like their favorite. Well and again, one of the reasons <laughs> I love the Drago is it's got our seventy thirty coating suede wrapped around it as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's safe. It's not going to hurt anything. It's easy to use. Um, and it's just the right. Which Buttersoft yeah, so. Sway was developed as a way to remove yeah, coatings and as install well. It too. Yeah, and, and install. You can wrap it around a block. We we yeah. have the, yeah, the suede for that. But uh, anyway, I think we yeah. went off on that tangent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we are like two weeks away. We got our house oh, for mobile tech. Yeah. We got our car today. Our yeah. rental car. So for those of you that did don't you guys, know, did you guys go for it? We did. The one yeah. I was hoping. You yeah. saw. It. Did you see our emails? We all wrote. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, you I wrote. wrote I wrote part of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we rent from a company called Sixt S I X T. Uh, they're in the larger cities. So those of you that travel to bigger cities, check them out because they uh, provide very nice rental cars for a very cheap price. Yeah, so, price is hard to argue with. So in Orlando, you can get them. They have them in Seattle. They have them in California and LA and stuff. Uh, when I went to Denver, I looked. They didn't have it. They weren't oh. available in Denver. Um, I'm sure eventually. Yeah, but when I went to go visit Matt Mormon, uh, I rented a Volvo wagon. Right, and everybody thought and, you were the coolest. Yeah, yeah. and so that's what I had for, for <laughs> that. And so it was cool. Um, they're all new cars. They gave me a choice of a Mercedes, a Volvo, or a BMW 3 Series. And uh, when I landed, they said, all you got is the Volvo. And I was like, that's fine. Like, all you got, yeah. Huh? There's nothing wrong with that Volvo. car. That's, like, that's, that's fine. I'll it's take a good it. Choice. It was yeah. an S60. I mean, you know, yeah. It wasn't a big jump over the Elantra, yeah. but I mean, it was. <laughs> no, it was a V60. It was the, it was the well, yeah, it's the wagon. XC60. Wait. Oh, so that would be an SUV. It was v the is SUV. the wagon. The it S is a sedan. Yeah, it wasn't a wagon. And the XC is the SUV. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. And so that was fun to have. That was the one I rolled, ran over the basketball with. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> Rest in peace. And when uh, cool. Jeff and I went to Mobile Tech last year, we got a GLC 300 Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, cool little SUV coupe that yeah. uh, was fun. That's what yeah. we got. And it's like under $30 a day. It's insane. for stupid for cheap when you consider what a yeah. normal rental yeah. is. So <laughs> with the four of us going, we're bringing camera equipment and all our gear and then stuff because we got to set up our booth. We've got to ship a bunch of stuff. So yeah. Jeff was like, I think we're going to need to rent a van or an SUV of some sort. Uh, what did we get, Dane? 
Well, if I'm reading correctly into this, you got the Metris van. A Mercedes Metris yeah. minivan. Yeah. Smaller than a Sprinter van. <laughs> it's it's like the Mercedes version of a Ford Transit Connect kind of deal. Yeah. It's, it's like that. But it's enough to fit us and our gear. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what we're looking for. Yep. It's like a baby Sprinter. Yep. <laughs> and we got our Airbnb, and it has a jacuzzi. Yeah. In the back. I'm down for so that. So Anthony and I are going to have a well, jacuzzi time. Yeah. All right. Enjoy that <laughs> soup, boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. We're going to tell Dane to turn up the TV because oh, yeah. we can't hear her while we're sitting oh, in the jacuzzi God. while we're cranking up the bubbles. <laughs> oh, but oh. no, it'll be fun. Uh, so what dates so, is So we got Tech our Expo. house. Oh, right. Yeah, no, we got our house and we got, and we got our car. Okay. And so we're set. Now we just yeah. got to go. Yeah. Got to pack our stuff. Oh, and our flights. Yeah. They're coming and we got our quick. flight, so we're Real flying quick. nice. We're going yeah. Boise to Denver to Orlando, and you yep. don't like flying. I hate flying. I <laughs> a hate nervous it. flyer. Okay. I hate well, it. Well, he, he's gonna sit in an aisle because he likes to have his foot out. Yeah. Right. I have to. I have to have he like, likes, he likes me tripping feel, everybody trying to go up. Makes the aisle. me feel a little right. more grounded. I just don't like being claustrophobic up in the window seat because <laughs> I feel like I'm just I'm a bigger guy. I don't want to be all. Well, it's different when you're next to people you know, but if you're next to a stranger, you feel like your personal bubble has to shrink even more, and you got to oh, yeah. like, yeah. kind of wedge towards yeah. the window. No. Yeah. I mean, you say you're a bigger guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just not a great I'm flyer. I'm having a bad time. I, I, uh, I always start to overthink things. I get yeah. on the fly, we start taking off, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know. Yeah. That was a that was a, that was was a a decent bump there. Oh, yeah. It's all right, I got Anthony. a little more bumpy. I'll sit next to you. Yeah. That way you don't have to worry. Thanks. As long as you guys yeah. hold my hand, I think yeah. I'm going to be yeah. able to get through this. So, well, uh, and I've got, I told him, I showed him, I said, get, just get yourself a cheap fire tablet and yeah. download some movies and just watch them. And you were like, my girlfriend has one it's still yeah. in the box. She hasn't yep. brought it out. There you go, dude. I'm taking that bad boy. It's yeah. mine. Yeah, those things were stupid movies. cheap over the holidays. Like yeah. 50, 60 bucks gets those really fancy, nice Yeah, ones and you just too. watch. Just I use it for movies, literally. Yeah. And I just watch movies on the plane and TV and so yeah. I can download Netflix and Prime. And Well, if, so. I, if I'm reading correctly what Anthony's been telling me the last like week or two, if he keeps up this keto diet, he's going to fit in that seat no problem with everybody around yeah. him because uh, yeah. he's losing weight quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm like diminishing before you speak, before you see me on the camera. Um, Pretty soon you're going to be invisible, man. It's all like in Indiana Jones. Like, yeah. It like melts. I'm thinking I might stop the uh, stop the keto before this trip or, or transition off it to another you're gonna bloat. healthier, <laughs> healthier uh, People are diet. looking like, Anthony looks different than he looks on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Not, not, that, not that keto has, feels unhealthy. It's just... Um, it's definitely taking a little toll on my well, body. Well, you got the keto flu. So I, got, like I, a, I got that keto flu bad. Big fat but reset button on your it, <laughs> yeah, body. Is, yeah, Whoa. on pretty much everything. So yeah. I, I think, but to be able to like enjoy and, and, and live it up a little bit in Florida, I think I do want to just transition a little off it. Make some healthy decisions while I'm down there. He's going to you know, be eating maybe like go, whole cakes. And, yeah, yeah. Whole, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> healthy decisions. I'm just whole eating cakes. out of a oh jar God, of Nutella. Yeah. Anthony, you got to yeah. stop. Yeah. I can't stop. No, but it'll be fun. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I've already been getting some requests from folks that want to meet up with us while we're oh, down yeah. there and have dinner. Yeah. Uh, maybe go grab lunch. So uh, yeah. that, that should be good. We should have a good time. It should be fun to hang out with everybody and see everybody. And we're going to try and shoot uh, some videos while we're down We're going to try and shoot some videos while we're down there. So stay tuned. And some tuned. other stuff we can't talk about yet. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we're going to be flying out on the 24th. Yeah. All right. That's a Wednesday, Wednesday. Right? Wednesday. Yeah. 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 So one week one week away, we're seven, eight, nine, ten days, basically. Okay. Um, yeah. So we leave on Wednesday morning. Nice little time, about 9 a.m. Be nice. Good. And then uh, we'll land in Orlando about 6 o'clock. So not a bad day of flying. No. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, then we'll be there all weekend, and then we fly home on Tuesday the 30th. All right. So nice. we'll be in Orlando for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we got the uh, whole if thing. you're in Orlando and you want to say hi – Make sure you come to Mobile Tech and see yeah. us, guys. Yeah. I mean, that's the best way to see us is just see us in Mobile Tech because we will be there quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, and do. Please come and yeah. get yourself a pass and check it out. Uh, you're going to learn so much. It's really that whole day Friday is education day. It's just yeah. classes. I'm teaching a class. Uh, we're all going to be doing stuff, and then Saturday and Sunday is the actual show itself. So yeah. um, we're going to have some fun. You know, It's a good time. Like I said, you can just – Come by each booth and talk to everybody. Yeah, it's come hang out. Far more yeah. intimate. It'll be fun. Well, yeah, it, it's Excuse it's me. a different setting than like SEMA, yeah. where there's just so much going on. This is very focused, very yeah. like pinpoint detailing on a body. It's in, that a, kind it's of in stuff. a hotel, so in a conference area. Yeah. So, so if you're looking for us, you will find us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and you'll have fun, and and it's a good time, and we all have a good good uh, 
it's just fun to get together and talk and yeah. and hang out and swap stories and and you get to meet everybody that maybe you've been wanting to meet uh yeah. that maybe if you went to sema you missed them yeah you know you didn't well get and they're, they're under the same roof it's a smaller area you're more likely to run into the people mm-hmm. that you want to see too yeah so. more concentrated it was really yeah. good so very cool uh, we're really excited about it so please come see us yeah. if you uh, are in the area if you're on your way that'd be great yeah um who knows maybe you'll you know you can get in and hang out with us in the evening you right on the metris now wild side yeah <laughs> i want to get in my van way <laughs> all right, all right. Well, so anyways, i think guys. that sums it up guys yeah. anything left no, no that's, that's it. about it so right. we hope everybody has a good time next week is going to be our podcast before we leave right yep. and yep. then we won't have a podcast on the follow the end, we of may the come up with something on the road. We'll have to figure out be. something on the yeah. road to send to you guys. <laughs> on the plane to keep me sane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was but, meant to run. <laughs> but we want to have some fun on this trip again, so we probably will do a similar version to our SEMA video. Yeah, um, where we'll be taking videos and stuff uh, from our phones Just and from a collection cameras. of stuff, kind of summarizing. Yeah. Our we'll make trip. maybe we'll make a trip video out yeah. of it uh, and have some fun with it. So yeah. very cool because it is a it is fun to go to Orlando. Yeah, and the airport. So it's the first time I think I've been been to that particular part of florida and anthony's so sister fun. works at disney world oh yes, that's right she does. he's got the hookup i'm gonna try to get the hookup okay. so we <laughs> might be able to go which would be pretty fun so yeah. so if you're hanging out there come see us there too yeah. that's all right <laughs> yeah. uh, racing we'll go-karts or roller yeah. coasters or something <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for yeah. listening and or watching if you're on youtube right now be sure to check out the live stream we did with the porsche 911 turbo wash with these guys talking doing the demonstration yeah. it's a good watch i know it's three and a half hours long but still worth to check out yep. uh, and with that said we'll see you in the next one yeah see you Bye-bye. guys see ya